video guys I want to show you how to disassemble the HP laptop 15-PS0 a Core i5 processor the thing that we have to do most likely will be to remove all the visible screws the one on the sizes the one in the middle After that we have to remove the DVD unit. Make sure we remove all the screws. Then we take out the battery by sliding over the lockers. And in there we will find two screws that we have to take out. That one right there and that one over there. We have to make sure that we actually leave the actual stickers and the stickers goes for the four part is a screw under those stickers. They're kind of like rubber, like a rubber covers with a sticky glue. So we have to leave them and then remove the screws in there. I was using a flat screwdriver so in that way when we lift it over it's easier to put it back after that we could flip the laptop and get the plastic Piece. so in that way we could slide it over between the actual chassis and the top part of the laptop we'll be in the middle of the chassis most likely You will hear some clips whenever you are lifting the actual cover. When we remove that part, we lift it and then we will see all the components there. We can see the memory RAM, the hard drive, the fan, the processor, and the wireless card. Right there we could see the flex for the actual keyboard, the actual hard drive, and let me show you guys how to remove it. It's very simple. In case you want to switch it over with a different kind of hard drive, SSD, or a higher capacity one, or a lower capacity, you only have to take out the screw, slide it over, and take out the two screws from the plate, from the metal plate. That's it. And then put it back in, put the actual screw back. In there we could see the two memory RAM ZDR4, 4 GB each, a 12 8 GB memory RAM. It's easy to take it out too and next to it you could see the little BIOS battery. In case that you need to replace it or something you could take it out from there. Simple step used to put it back the memory RAM. Let me go far from the laptop and now to reassemble shouldn't be that complicated we have to put the cover back in
one of the, the things that I disassembled is actual HP was because first of all the actual hard drive got messed up at the Chiba hard drive and I have to replace it over and there is another issue going on with these HP laptops if they have warranty make sure you send it over to HP they're gonna try to charge you for the chipping but make sure you file with them and let them know that it should be for free that's a, a nice tip that you guys have to handle go ahead and live chat for the United States citizens and whenever you send this laptop to HP they have to send you the box and they have to get a repair for you the issue with this laptop going on is that the keyboard that's the B, the N, the capsule and the escape does not work sometimes work and sometimes does not work so most likely make sure if the actual laptop has warranty send it over with them and they will fix that problem for you because I hear so a lot of people that they have replaced the keyboard before and the same issue appear after three or six between three to six months so let's continue with this now we have all these screws that we had to put back in the laptop Make sure we start with the all the outside source ones and then the one from the battery and at the end we put the one for below the actual rubber covers. Sorry for repeat this again. Make sure if you have any keyboard issue with your HP laptop and the laptop has warranty, send it back to HP so they could repair it for you for free. I'm gonna make a tutorial video after this one how to show your warranty. It's very simple. The only step that you have to do is go to hp.com. And if you wanna make it easier, go to Google and put check my HP warranty. And it's gonna ask you for the serial number of the computer. The actual serial number you find it in the below part of the laptop. So now we're putting the screw back. Using the flat screwdriver like before, just lift the, the rubber and then put the screw in and then put it back. Try just to lift a, like a little bit just to be able to put the screw in so in that way we don't take out all the glue from it and get back right in place. That's it. We are done with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comment or question, please leave it below. And I will be here to help you guys out.